Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, ohayo gozaimasu. So this video here is going to show some multi updates and some centipede updates because our centipede has passed, but more on that later. For now, let us focus on Bamboo, our Pamphobedius Confer Antonis Peru. And some people said he was penultimate, but during the weekend, after Friday's video, he molted and he's not a mature male. So this guy is pretty much now penultimate. I did measure his molt and it is about five and a half inches. So he could be penultimate now, but I'm pretty certain he probably is on this molt now. So let us wait and see. And his coloration is amazing. He is literally jet black, but the annoying thing is that the camera couldn't really pick up on those colors. So I apologize for that. It's more of a camera issue, but I promise you this guy looks amazing. And don't you worry, because I do have a female setup for him in the future. So in case if Rambo or Bamboo molts out and become a mature male, I will have them ready for a female. And I apologize if I sound a bit under and a bit sick. It's not that I am, it's just that my nose is a bit runny. But coming back into these Pamphobedias though, when it comes to Bamboo and Rambo, some tarantula breeders have stated that it's okay if I label these as just Pamphobedias Antinus because they're doing it as well. But I prefer being safe because I don't want people mix matching and accidentally creating hybrids in the future. So I really just think it's a much safer bet to just leave it as what I put it as for now. And I also don't want to be knocking down other people's tarantula businesses, I guess, from what they're labeling their Pamphobedias Antinus as or whatever these are being collected from. But in the end of the day, trust your tarantula breeder and trust the sources of where you're getting your tarantulas from and you should be fine for the most part. So it shouldn't really be too big of an issue if you're getting it for somebody reputable. But coming back into Bamboo here though, it is good to see that he's not a mature male yet and it is great to know that I got a female ready for him in the future. So let us continue. And oh boy, I've shown this tarantula on this YouTube channel a few times already, but I never really went into depth about this tarantula here. And this is my curly hair tarantula, the Tlitocotl albopilosis Honduras, or Honduran curly hair that is. And this is pretty much one of the most common tarantulas in the hobby. This one here is actually part of my collection. And this female here is 7 years old because I've raised her up from a half inch sling. And honestly, I love this girl a lot. This female's name is Camilla from Fire Emblem, if you play Fire Emblem. So for those who are new to my channel, I split my collection into two halves. One for breeding and one for pets only. So allow me to clarify for those who don't understand. Anything in my pets only collection are just for me to keep and raise as a great quality pet. So Camilla's enclosure was relatively dry. So I did pour some water into her enclosure and into her water dish to ensure that there is moisture in the substrate so that way it's not dry because curly hairs do prefer slightly moist substrate if given to them and I know it looks a bit excessive but I promise you guys it's not a lot because pretty much the substrate is going to absorb a lot of that water in and that's really going to make the substrate moist and make it ideal for this curly hair tarantula so Camilla will be fine so don't uh don't don't panic guys and now what I'm doing is I'm pretty much trying to measure out this bolt but it has been a couple to a few days since she molted so this molt is a bit crumbly, so I'm just going to do my best as of now to try to measure it. And upon measuring it, after laying everything out and trying not to crumble this molt into pieces, it measured at about a little over 5 inches, so she's already a mature female already. But as stated, I don't plan on breeding Camilla, because to me, Camilla is pretty much one of my gems in my collection. But let us move on to our next tarantula. This one here is our Pamphobedius species Petersi, or is it Petersi? I forget. But anyhow though, this is our male here, and pretty much he's in pre-molt, which kind of shocked me honestly, because it's only been about maybe a few months since he last molted, and he's already going into pre-molt, and his water dish is empty, so essentially all I'm doing here for today is just pretty much cleaning out his water dish and filling it up to get him ready for whenever he decides to molt, so pretty much straightforward. Now I'm not too sure if this guy is pen ultimate or not, but if he does mature out, then I'm going to use him to breed with my females. If not, then that's okay as well, because now that gives me more time to get ready. I feel kind of sad seeing my tarantulas grow so quickly and passing away of old age, because a lot of my tarantulas, especially the ones in my pet collection, those are getting older, and some of them are almost at their last final days, if I have to admit it. So I would like to get another pet someday in the future. I have raised leopard geckos in the past, and pac-man frogs in the past, but 
I really want to get something new. So maybe a reptile that lives somewhere between 10 to 20 years so that way I can have my time to enjoy them and time to raising them up as well. But anyhow though, let us continue on. And this right here is our centipede that has passed. This specimen here is our Scolopendra dehondi orange legomorph. So our Vietnamese centipede. And although I am a bit sad to see this one go, I'm also very proud to be its owner. So I've already did a backstory about the centipede already. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the top right. So go check it out for further context. But honestly, it never really crossed my mind that one day this specimen will pass on. And although that was the reason I was given the centipede, I literally thought this centipede will live forever. And I don't know why I thought that. I think it's because of the years I've had it. Because when I got it, it was pretty much already not doing so well from the person that was uh, trying to get rid of it. So to see it live so long in my care, I literally thought that even though this specimen was old, it still had a lot to give. And I'm not gonna lie, it did promise on that. So I'm very proud to be the owner of the specimen here for the centipede. But the real question I've always had was whether or not this specimen here was male or female. And now we're gonna know. And sexing the specimen now, it is female. So rest in peace, big girl. And for those who don't know, I do bury my specimens when they pass because I think that's the most fitting way to return things back to mother nature is by burying them. So yes, I bury my specimens. I don't really preserve them because uh, that's just not for me. But hey, to each their own. And if you're wondering about the old enclosure, I actually gave it to my Scolopendra longa piece, my Florida Keys giant centipede. So yeah, I gave the old enclosure to my smaller centipede essentially because it needed a rehouse. And honestly, it's doing pretty great. It's drinking out of the water dish and it's looking pretty good honestly. So when it comes to centipedes, I'm not really the most experienced in terms of breeding them. But when it comes to general care and pretty much how to sex them, etc., that I am pretty good at. But it's just when it comes to breeding them that I'm not so great at. So maybe in the future, I'll try to get into breeding them. But as of now, I'd rather just keep them as pets. And I guess I'll wrap it up around here for today's video. So without further ado, as the typical, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around to whenever I upload here on the channel. I upload every single Tuesday and Friday. And also follow me on my IG, and support me on Patreon. And with that, stay lax, and laxo out. From the Kumo Sensei.